Creativity is essential to the well-being of communities, whether that's through uh, visual arts or music or um, dance. Creativity is just so important. And if there's one artist in Australia whose music demonstrates this, um, it's one of our, uh, our two special guests today. And it's my absolute pleasure to introduce Shane Howard. <laughs> Shane is, in my opinion, one of Australia's most important and influential musicians. And in fact, his music provided the soundtrack to my own political awakening, and I'm sure many of you in this room. Many of you will know him for his work with Goanna, a band he formed in 1977. Um, you would remember Solid Rock, which burst onto the scene and helped to in, uh, highlight the injustices that Aboriginal Australia had endured and continues to endure. And it was also, I believe, we might need to fact check this, but I believe it was also the first commercial song to use a didgeridoo. Uh, the song you would all know made a massive impact and opened the eyes of many to the mistreatment of Aboriginal Australians. In 1983, Shane wrote and recorded the song Let the Franklin Flow um, with Goanna and Friends in protest of the damming of Australia, uh, Tasmania's spe spectacular Franklin River. And thankfully it is still spectacular. Um, and we were all reminded last week, I think, um, that the damming was eventually halted by the Hawke government as one of Bob's first act of business when he was elected in 1983. Um, as I said, Dennis always says, any good movement has to have music and let the Franklin flow is proof of that. Um, Shane's also here today accompanied by Ewan Baker, who will be playing the fiddle. And um, I think we're all really lucky to have them here. I know we've been, um, they've been on our wish list for a long time. So please make them very welcome. darkness, living with the fear, forgotten where we came from, drifting in the mist, with the main mast broken and the head sail ripped. is broken we can't see the stars on the southern skyline they're a storm cloud stark we're running out of courage and we're running out of heart can't believe that we're back on our knees is there anybody out there anybody please i just need something something to believe someone to write me a song Times like well, down came the money men Mounted on their thoroughbreds Loudly denying what the rest of us can see There goes the atmosphere There goes the seas There goes all we fought for Dying by degrees There go your rights There go your wages There goes everything You thought worth saving Fossil don't know what they're doing Driving us all into the ruin Times like these Times like these Once upon a time In a land like this A bad goal for all That's what we taught our kids 
Mr. Manus, island attention. People are drowning in a sea of inattention. Hidden on islands, hidden out of sight. Behind razor wire, just for the warmth of a life. Out of the darkness, somebody called. Do people make decisions of conscience anymore? But I hardly hear a murmur on the breeze. Someone find me a cure for times like these. Our times like these In a land like this Times like Get angry, then get organised. There's a lot to do. We're going to have to work harder than ever, sadly. Which is great news for a room full of volunteers and community workers, I'm sure. As if we weren't working hard enough already. just have to do it one shire at a time and um, old Bill Mollison used to say the father of permaculture there's no way we can possibly win but we have to I just want to say too that in our little local community in southwest Victoria um, my wife Teresa was central to the kids here today was central to the campaign to when the Catholic Church was saving, selling off our, our little church and hall, um, Trees was very central to the campaign to galvanise the community together and to raise the funds, to raise awareness, to bring people together to empower communities. And um, our communities was central to being the go-to place for our community to be able to um, develop the right language, the skills, the support necessary to be able to mount an effective campaign um, at a media level, at a community level and to win hearts and minds and inevitably to win over back our community buildings that have since now hold over 100 functions a year that are the absolute cornerstone, a little church and a hall up on a hill in the middle of dairy paddocks, but they are central to the energy and the, of our community and it's where everything in that region between Warrnambool and Port Ferry it's where a lot of that great activity happens a lot of the action um, culturally socially from a community perspective and then for the last three and a half years our community's been chasing racehorses off beaches and dunes um, an almost unwinnable battle up against it. bizarre that we're here at the Mooney Valley Racing Rooms <laughs> Um, but chasing, not that it was anti-racing, because who could win that battle, but um, the wrong thing in the wrong place. And these dunes, our beaches, pristine wild beaches, a little coastal strip, all we've got left in terms of remnant vegetation and uh, between the Otways, the Grampians, the Cobobany Forest and a wasteland in between of, of cleared farmland trying to hold on to that one little bit and people would say to us oh it's just one kilometre and you go yeah but it's one more from the 10 we lost before and the 10 before that and if we go back far enough this these are places that hold really powerful ephemeral dreamings of two sisters creation stories um, of a people who were broken dispossessed had their land stolen their children stolen everything taken from them more of that later you know, and environmentally, little birds, uh, hooded plovers, ruddy turnstones, you know, that come from the Arctic, migratory and resident shorebirds that are endangered, fighting for their life. And we're up against the might of the racing industry, the gambling industry, the state government, the racing minister, 
um, the Department of Environment, Lands, Water and Planning, our two local Shire Council, City Council and Shire Council, everything stacked against us. And our greatest ally was just our ability to stick together and gather more people to our, group, to our community group and tell the truth. And as a community, we're starting to win the argument. After three and a half years, we're starting to win a common sense argument about that purpose-built facilities off the beaches for the trainers will provide a, an outcome for the racing industry and will protect our, our precious cultural heritage and our coastline, our dunes and uh, our uh, fauna. So um, wish us well. That's our little community. I know you've all got your own little community stories too that you gather in this room today. And uh, this next song I, I wrote, I got advice, and I got encouragement to write this song from Dennis Ginevan uh, from up there in the seat of Indi who's been doing great work. And Yak and Dan are hoping to go off the grid by 2020 and provide their own power. It's a great model for the rest of the state, for the rest of the country. Um, So Dennis, uh, they're totally renewable yak and dander, try. This song is called Try. Just up ahead, it's time to choose the path that we tread. One leads to ruin, doing what we're doing. The other is a path to a brand new start. If we try, try a little harder, try to find a better way. There'll be no future if we don't make it Where there's a will, there's a way And a brand new way Choices plain and the future unclear Can't live in fear. The world that we want, we're gonna have to create. We better get it together. Is the hours getting late? Have to try, try a little harder. Try to find a better way. There'll be no future if we don't make it. Where there's a will, there's a way And a brand new day Every woman, child, and man got to be smarter than powers in our hands. In a broken world that needs to heal and to mend, the new day starts where the old one ends. If we try, try a little harder, try to find a better way. There'll be no future if we don't make it Where there's a will, there's a way If we try, try a little harder Try to find a better way There'll be no future if we don't make it
Well, thanks for your patience there and getting to that song. Whether it be, I don't know, I was born like this. Um, I can't stop the songs from coming. And um, maybe people are born with a conscience or they're not. I don't know. Um, maybe it's something you can cure. And we can all go back to our franking credits. Um, the Franklin River, whether it's the Franklin River, whether it's uh, the injustice suffered by Aboriginal people in this country, um, whether it's Guernica and Picasso's powerful painting about the bombing of the Basque area of Spain in 1937, whether it's uh, Patrick Kavner writing in a poem called Epic about... Um, when the Munich bother began, which was the Second World War, I began to lose faith in the importance of the little local stories at Ballygort until Homer's mind, Homer came whispering to my mind, I made the Iliad from such a local rare. It is our little lives, at, um, or To Kill a Mockingbird, it is these very simple little lives that we lead in our communities that are the stuff of human drama. This is the essence of what being human is. What are the important things for us as humans? I mean, it doesn't get much more beyond, you know, to love and be loved. Um, the other, the significant other, the, the family, the community. Um, you know, a, a very wealthy man said to me one time when I said to him, yeah, but money won't make you happy. He said, yeah, but I can buy a yacht and sail up next to it. And I said, yeah, but you'll only ever be next to it. The soul of our country is deeply wounded. And it has been for a couple of hundred years. And the reality is that the prosperity that we all enjoy comes on the back of a chasm of Aboriginal suffering. And... Um, They are still, Aboriginal people are still the most marginalised people in this country. Their population group numbers are so small they will never achieve political change like South Africa could because of the numbers or even America. So it falls to us to be their great supporters and allies and I'm here to tell you from my own community that engaging at a local level with our local Aboriginal community and building relationships between the broader community and the Aboriginal community in a meaningful way has brought about a really incredible change and it brings about empowerment for everybody. You know, and I'd encourage you to do your best to interact. You know, my friend Ricky rang yesterday. He said, brother, he said, um, I'm cutting sugar gum. And uh, I said, great, I'll take three metres, knowing how much that's going to mean to his life. I said, how's your family, your little family? He said, ah, oh, bros, he said, ice, it's stuffed. Yeah, I can't use duct tape, that's illegal. I can't hold them against their will. And whatever goes on politically out there in Liberal Labor, whatever, the reality is that this is beyond politics. This is about the soul of our country. And we have to get this right, and we still haven't. We keep sweeping it under a rug and going, someone else can deal with it. And it's so important. You know, what kind of a nation are we? What kind of a... How then shall we live? You know, we... I just nearly finished reading Beirut's Bashani's book. I'm so ashamed of this country at the moment, you know, and um, you're not the people who deserve the anger, but you are the people who deserve to get angry and to make the change. There's so much has to change. We have to make this country right or else it is a miserable place. It is a really cruel and miserable place. And it was interesting seeing the footage of Bob Hawke over the last few, after, over the last week, and remembering what a generous country we were. We were much better than we've become. 
and we have to find a way to get back there again. And conferences like this, thank you, Dennis and Maureen, bring us together to empower us and to reassure us that we can bring about change. We have to do it community by community. We have to do it shire by shire. And we have to get the fundamental rights, the fundamental principles right. This is an Aboriginal country and we are all migrants here. You know, and justice must be restored or we will never get anything else right in this country. You know, uh, and I just beg you to make every effort. Sting 
white man, white lord, white can Tell me it's just a fight Cause somewhere Captain Cook lied you sing a little bit just for a minute before we go because <laughs> one of the great things um, about music is that it's a collective art um, unlike painting um, or writing a book or a lot of other it's a very social art so um, you have to do this <laughs> Out of my country Yeah 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 Men Yeah 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 seem a bit timid. Well, the great thing about singing is it's not your speaking voice. It's a completely different set of muscles and a different part of your mind. And it's where the soul gets to speak. Let's have a go at that again. Travel around the country, then return again. And from a place of standing still, I feel them touch my soul. Does anybody make decisions of conscience and more? Out of my Gotta keep you dreaming yeah. Gotta keep believing yeah. Working it out Beautiful The wind blows 
passed through withered places It keeps me wondering why The time comes and goes And spirit never dies We look into the heart of the land Then we have to choose Whether the wealth we gain worth the wealth we lose out of my country never surrender gotta keep your dreaming